we are meeting with Adrián Goyerizo, one of the teachers who has taken part in FlevoCollect project. He's going to tell us about his experience in this pilot. So, Adrián, could you please introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Adrián. I am a PhD student at Universidad Autónoma de Madrid. I'm doing my PhD in Didactics of Science. And I'm also a science teacher. I'm working in a secondary school. I'm currently teaching physics and chemistry. I'm also teaching ICT and technology. And well, I'm really happy to be here talking about the Flavor Collect project. So about this uh, project, how did you get involved in Bright? Well, I was uh, involved in, in Bright Tech project from the very beginning. Uh, I was involved as a PhD student at Universidad Autónoma. And I participated in the design of the do-it-yourself trap at Medialab Prado. Um, in Brightech project, there are lots of uh, citizen science projects, and Flevo Colette was one of those projects. And it really caught my attention from the very beginning because it gave me the opportunity to get to know many different people from many different backgrounds and work together in the design of the do-it-yourself trap at the Medialab Prado Fab Lab. And well, sharing this experience was great. And well, the thing is that with this experience, I could also introduce my students into a whole new world, my, my ICT students and also biology students in my school, which was this, um, the study of phlebotomes and, and well, uh, also the technology, uh, the technology contents associated with the building of the digital self trap. Why were you interested in, par in participating in Flevo Collect project? Well, as I said before, I was really interested in participating in this project because I think it's an interesting way to introduce uh, some of the contents of the official curriculum, uh, like not in the traditional way. And I think that uh, as a science teacher, a science teacher, we need to find engaging methods to make our students enjoy science. And I find that the Global Life project is not only engaging, but also very interesting experience for students because uh, the contents of the official curriculum are covered, but also you can develop many other uh, important skills. So which goals do you want to achieve by implementing this project in your classroom? Well, by implementing the Flevo Collect project, I would like to take a leap and instead of learning science or learning about science, which is what we normally do in a science lesson, uh, we start doing science. And we start uh, making our students um, responsible for scientific decisions and learning about uh, scientific collaboration. We can develop positive attitudes towards science and they will learn how to face a real scientific problem. So that's like, I think my main goal, um, make my students aware of what science really is. Uh, science is not a blackboard and mm, telling them uh, these are the contents and this is what you have to study for the exam. Science is, is um, something which is alive and it's made by people in the world, in an international context, collaborating and doing experiments learning things from those experiments, being right, being wrong. And this is the thing that we can, uh, that we can achieve by doing the Flevo Collect project. And um, where is the student's role in this project and how it could contribute to their learning process? I think the student's role in this project is central. Um, they are not passive learners, they are active learners. They are building their own knowledge and they can see that they can really contribute to, to science because what they are doing, uh, they are collecting some data that will afterwards be sent to scientists that will use those data to make uh, society better and uh, to make the world around us a little bit uh, better. So I think that we, we have to give them the, the central role and they have to be like the main characters of their learning process.